Welcome to the Infinite Wealth Podcast. I'm Cameron Christensen, along with our co-host, Anthony Faso. We just wrapped up our interview with Travis Smith, CEO and founder of TribeVest. Anthony, do you have a takeaway or two that uh, you have from this interview? I do. I, it, was, it was good to have Travis back. Mm -hmm. And one thing that he had talked about was, if you the old saying goes, if, if you want to go fast, go by yourself. You want to go far, take somebody with you. And I think that that also pertains to investing. Uh, there, there's a lot of advantages of having resources from, uh, or not just dollars, but also kind of their experience, maybe help making the decisions. And one advantage of combining that into uh, would be is some of these uh, syndications or investments, uh, they may have, they, they a lot of them have minimums. So for putting this as a group, it might be easier to achieve that minimum. And or also, maybe you can diversify. Instead of going in maybe into one investment, by having the, this group, you can maybe go, go into multiple ones, which will spread the risk. And also some, particularly syndications, are going to have a higher preferred interest rate or a higher return uh, the, the more you invest. So if you're investing with your tribe, you, you may be able to actually achieve a higher return on that same investment that you would if you went in individually. Cam, what uh, takeaway or two did you have? Yeah, the, the, the takeaway I had were to kind of follow up on your sentiment was that it, the, when I first heard about this, it sounded like it was more of a family and friends kind of type mm -hmm. tribe that people mm -hmm. were getting together. Mm -hmm. But now it's like the professionals have kind of come in and grabbed this thing and kind of gotten a hold of it. So uh, that's cool. Natural progression there. Um, but the other thing that uh, came to mind or takeaway that I had was just the ease of access that these guys are now providing to some of these investment opportunities that are typically kind of out of reach for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, if you look at the investing side of it, I mean, you've got a dozen apps on your phone that, you know, will sweep money out and invest in the market for you um, very, very easily. But uh, I see his platform is kind of providing that ease for people to enter real estate uh, in kind of a group setting. So uh, there's definitely a need out there. We're big fans of Travis and what they're mm -hmm. doing. So we were happy to have him back. But uh, guys, stick around. Uh, again, our interview was with Travis Smith. CEO and founder of TribeVest. Uh, TribeVest is a collaborative group investment platform that enables friends and family to organize as an investment group, pool money, and to manage joint investments. Enjoy this episode. Take care. Welcome to the Infinite Wealth Podcast, where we teach clients how to build wealth and create passive income without the risk of Wall Street. Travis, hey man, thanks for coming back. Uh, we are excited to host you once again today. Thanks, man. Hey, it's a pleasure to be back. I've been looking forward to this. Good to see you guys. Absolutely. For those of you that uh, are here and are just joining us, uh, today we've got Travis Smith. He's CEO and founder of TribeVest. TribeVest is a collaborative group investment platform that enables friends and family to organize as an investor group, pool money, and manage joint investments. And today you got some good news for us, but we're going to save that to the end, right? Is uh, our podcast and our listener base has grown quite a bit since we had you on. And so I'm hoping to review a little bit with you, Travis. Uh, if you could give us a little bit of background about how you even kind of got started in this industry. Absolutely. Again, thanks, guys. Travis Smith, uh, founder and CEO of TribeVest. And, uh, you know, really the, the company idea, the origins started uh, by you know, trying to overcome a challenge uh, that I had. And, and you really have to go back to 2008 where um, you know, I was figuring out that this trading time for money wasn't gonna work out. Uh, you know, we did all the things that we were told to do. We went to a good school, got good grades, got a good job, uh, was you know, making good money, or so I thought. And, um, uh, but again, it was, if you kind of do the math, that's 2008 during the great recession there. Um, we really kind of realized that, uh, something's got to give. And we, we were looking at how, how people that we knew that were around us that were living their best lives were financially free. Those were business owners, people investing in businesses, people investing in, in real estate. 
And that's what I wanted to do. I read Rich Dad, Poor Dad, uh, was ready to go. And as you know, so many of us, when we, we go into a new area of private investing or just anything, uh, the mystery, the fear, the unknown uh, is really paralyzing. And, um, and I went on this fishing trip that I couldn't afford with my brothers. <laughs> and thank goodness, because they were kind of having the same struggles, right, as me. And on, the, on those ri- in the rivers, we were talking about our dreams and aspirations. And, and we kind of realized that we, we, we wanted the same thing. And, um, and, and we discussed how challenging it was to kind of break into uh, private investing or, or business ownership. So on the river and over a few beers, of course, we, um, we said, listen, let's form our family business. Let's, fi- let's become business owners. And uh, so we formed a, an LLC, uh, opened up a business bank account, and started to pool capital. And that was it. That was, and then we were business owners. Like, you know, you think about it. Like, we, we, we were o- business owners at that point, and we were in the business of investing so now we were uh, presidents and, and, and vice presidents of an investor group. And that changed everything for us too. And eventually we had enough capital to do our first deal. We did our next cool. deal. We did our next deal. And we look back, guys, by forming and funding that investor group and tribe, as we call it today, um, we unlocked a future that none of us could have ever achieved on our own. And that's the origins. So we solved you, we solved the problem by by forming a, a a business partnership and pulling capital. Travis, what was the advantage? Because you guys could have did this yourself individually. Why why did you want to do it together? And what were the advantages? You know, it, it was you know one we we grew up you know not being trained in this, you know, you you certainly go to school, you're you're not, you know, no one teaches you how to invest into real estate or, or into businesses. Um, So we didn't know we lacked that knowledge. Mm -hmm. Um, We we lacked the network, where where do you go? Where do you go to to do this and do it well and, and to be intelligent about it? Um, You know, so what we what we did was we we there wasn't communities out there like yours. Right. There, there was less kind of online training there. Heck there wasn't, I don't even know when podcasts came <laughs> out, but it probably was after this. And mm-hmm. so we did what, you know, humans have done since the beginning. We turned to our tribe and said, look, none of us know how to do this, but together we can, we could figure this out. Mm-hmm. And uh, so that was, that was a big part of it. And then of course the big obvious challenge, which was lack of capital. And um, so, yeah, we could have, you know, done this, started pulling capital and you, and you guys know that's, you you guys have a system which is very intelligently helps you, um, you know, bank for yourself, which is amazing. Right. Um, And we, we could have, of course, I don't think this was, that was around back then, but we could have just started saving individually and eventually Mm. getting enough capital, but it would have taken us five times as long. Mm. Gotcha. So together, we could get into it, right? We could, we could, we could accelerate things together, leverage the power of the tribe. Now, as you were, sorry, Cameron. That's all right. I'm not sorry. You got me, sorry you got me, you got me twice, man. Cameron's is is Cameron going to get a word in, I, Anthony? Or is this I, I how doubt it. Goes? I'm I hoping doubt. not. Well, I'm just <laughs> expanding on the current topic. Uh, it, so those are some of the advantages of what you were doing. Were there any disadvantages of you guys coming together independently? Oh man, yeah, great, great question. Yeah, was, absolutely, it, it, was it was an o- worth, it was an okay question. It was Travis. worth interrupting yeah, Cameron, okay. yeah. right, to answer answer that question. Okay. You got to give it to him. That was a pretty good question. Yeah. Um, absolutely, absolutely. So, um, you know, it's it's. I guess it might be one of those things. Although we feel like we accelerated things. Um, you know, I think there's a an African proverb that says. You know, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you if you want to go far, go together. Yeah. And um, you know, because it, it, there is work there that to work together to to reap the benefits of a of a group. Um, and and certainly, 
before tried best, right? <laughs> um, you know, we experienced the full weight and challenge and burden of forming a partnership. You know, did we need a, a operating agreement? Did we need a, an attorney? What type of attorney? How do you open up a business bank account? How do we automate cap pulling capital together? Um, you know, filing the LLC. Uh, what does that operating agreement, how are we going to operate? Um, you know, how do we communicate, right? And, and, and how do we, you know, stay, you know, all on the same page? Uh, how do we keep records of all these things? You know, mm -hmm. all those questions we had to piece together. And quite honestly, uh, we didn't, we didn't do well. Like if you, if you were to ask me, what would, you know, what would, what did you have to do differently to, than you did, you know, from your first tribe between your first tribe and now how tribes on tribe vests operate. And the answer is every, like we did everything wrong. We did everything <laughs> wrong. <laughs> yeah. So, but yeah, it was, it was hard. And, and look, sometimes, you know, even getting back from the fishing trip, all fired up and, you know, thinking we had really unlocked something. And how, how many of us kind of do that? We go to a conference yeah. and we come back, we're fired up and then you kind of come back. Like, yeah. Right. And then you're like, oh man, like this is going to, this is going to be work. And we, but we persevered and there was times where we're like, gosh, like we could actually benefit. Like I, the family could use this capital, you know, mm -hmm. should we, should we, should we get, you know, should we not do this? And thank goodness we persevered again, it changed our lives, uh, changed the trajectory of our, of our families um, forever. So generationally. So yeah. Travis, when did Tribe Vest come about? So you kind of guys were on this fishing trip, came home, started doing it individually. When did you have that moment where you're like, man, you know, this works. I think we could turn this into a business. In 2018 um, was is when we launched the business. And that, that was when we were really, you know, seeing the benefits of this. Um, I think it was, you know, we we had just we done really well. We had just had a recent exit, and um, one of our investments, which wasn't an investment at all, but this this does tell the power of the tribe. We actually bought a, a racehorse named Smaverless, and uh, it ended up being one of the top earners in in racing that year. And there we were in the owner suite, kind of. <laughs> saying what the heck does a bunch of guys like us <laughs> be in here and you know again realizing just well it, none of this happens without us forming this tribe and, and pulling our capital together on a regular basis and um and at that time people were saying hey how how could could you help us form an investor tribe too and uh and then of course my background is in finance i started with Morgan Stanley. I say I was saved by by software. I went to work for a, a, a early fintech, and throughout my career was in fintech. and And just before starting Tribest, I was with a company called Jack Henry and Associates, um, a multi billion dollar fintech that uh, three thousand banks run on their core software. And I headed up their their strategic alliances and enterprise payments. So. People are asking us, um, hey, can you help us uh, form an investor group? We, of course, we knew how hard it was. And, um, and that's when we, we decided to, to, uh, to give it a go and, and, and build, build out what, what is the banking infrastructure, the banking and collaborative infrastructure of the private investing world. And uh, yeah, that's, uh, that was when it, so it was 10 years, 2008. First tribe, 2018, we actually launched Tribe Best. So, so from 2018 to really what I think is January, when you launched kind of this new platform for you guys, what has Tribe Best kind of looked like? Who's been coming to you guys, and what services have you guys been providing? Yeah, great question. You know, I think we we, we built this out very intentionally again as a as a platform, uh, the infrastructure a utility, a tool, and we did it. So it was very open. Uh, you could, you could come to our platform, um, you know, agree on a, on your charter, 
um, form your, your LLC, uh, onboard your members, pull your capital, um, bank, you know, open up your business bank account, all those things. And, um, and, and it was very broad. We marketed it very broadly. It's what, whatever you want to invest in um, together, Trivest is a, is a great tool to do that. And we made it easy, safe, and transparent. Um, to give you an idea, you know, the technology gives you the ability to come in, file your LLC, and within a couple of days, you're, you're opened up a FDIC insured business bank account. So within days, you can you can form a partnership, be pulling capital and investing in whatever it might be, and uh, and so just a very broad range of whatever people, whatever was familiar to them, whatever was local whatever they were passionate about, right? And those are like people ask, well, what's the best investment? Well, it's those things. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's the things you know, right? It's the things you understand. It's the things you care the most about. And so, you know, for the first three years, every, we were just blown away by what people were investing in. And, you know, it was, it was everything. Uh, real estate, of course, active real estate, uh, passive investing into real estate syndications, uh, short-term rentals, long-term rentals, flipping, uh, you know, just all sorts of things in, in the real estate world. Uh, but then we had people investing as, as uh, angels, investing into the startups, art, cars. I mean, during the pandemic, oh my, like people invested in collectible cards and, you know, sporting yeah. cards and cars. Uh, again, it was just really cool. And uh, as you kind of uh, mentioned, it, it, um, we, we, we started um, recently to, to have a little bit more of a narrow focus. But we're, you know, those first few years, very broad. Anybody could use the platform. And it was really neat to see all the different applications. How were people kind of putting those tribes together um, previously when you first got started? Was it family and friends? Was it similar to kind of the way that you guys originated? Right, of course, yeah, a ton of friends and family uh, coming together. Um, believe it or not, a lot of existing groups out there had kind of figured it out yeah. and then kind of thought they they died and gone to heaven when they realized they, they could do this all on one platform. Um, but really, what, what's been so exciting the last few years, and I know you guys, you know, feel this and are, are part of it, but um, the communities out there, there's so many communities um, where people are, are on their wealth journey. Uh, they're seeking, um, you know, that community. They're seeking learning together. Like a lot like my brothers and I were yearning for. Of course, we only had each other because there weren't these, these more uh, accessible communities. But that's, that's where we're seeing a ton of these, these uh, tribes form now is – uh, they meet each other at virtual conferences. They meet them each other at at a, you know live concert uh, co conferences, and um, and they realize that they're at similar points in their lives, and they're investing in, in wealth building journey, and and they come across a deal or an idea, and they're like, we should do it together. So I think that's been really cool to see these communities. We hope those communities take action is another way to think about it. There's these communities that are learning and, and doing a lot of great things. And then when, when it comes time to take action, what an awesome way to, to do it together with, but with a, but with a tribe. Awesome. Now, now catch us up. You've got uh, some kind of changes and some advances and stuff that you're rolling out here at the beginning of this year. Uh, tell us a little bit about those. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, it's it's um, it leverages that platform and infrastructure that we built, right? So that that's been kind of the cool thing of this product that's called an open tribe, and um, it's really for those that serve investors, right? Either communities, uh, communities that are are bringing deals or opportunities. Um, so communities come together and they open up a tribe and instead of having what we call as the founder 
kind of having to rally the troops, figure it out, form everything. And there's, there's, you know, we've made it 10 times easier, but there's still this burden of doing that. Right. And, and, but when we're in these communities and we're, there's a, there's some, uh, an event or a deal that's presented, we can open up tribes now and people can join them and they, and they're doing this for one of two reasons. One is to lower the minimum. Uh, so a lot of these real estate syndications, and by the way, open tribes right now are specifically for, uh, uh, partnerships and, and investors that are looking to get into some type of syndication or uh, be, you know, represent their, the, the tribe as a passive investor or LP into a syndication. And, um, and so these open tribes make it real easy for tribes to come together. And instead of, you know, writing a hundred thousand dollar check, like maybe I would, or maybe I wouldn't, um, I can come in at a, at the amount that's right for me through this tribe. And then the tribe turns around and uh, does one, one check. We do all the, um, you know, the heavy lifting, right? The, the forming of the entity, pulling of the capital, banking, the wiring. And then uh, you think about it from the, the deal sponsor perspective, instead of having, you know, five, 10 different checks and investors, mm -hmm. they're getting one. Right. And then they give, they, then there's one K one that comes back or one distribution, one K one. We are, our, our open tribes on a quarterly basis, do those distributions to the members. Uh, the K one comes in from the sponsor and we, we process that and get all the K ones out to all the members in the tribe. So uh, communities are, are using it for, for that reason. And then, um, there's people out there that are kind of taking their investing in the next level and they're, they're, they're going to these, these deals, these sponsors and saying, Hey, what if I did bring a million dollars to the table, right? Mm -hmm. Could I get better terms? And, um, and usually the answer is yes. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and then, so these become great tools for those people, people that are, you know, t again, emerging uh, as capital raisers or taking a step towards being a capital raiser and they can uh, invest that way. You know, they can pull capital, hit that million dollar threshold, send one check and the whole tribe benefits because they got better terms because they're part of a bigger check. that makes sense? Yeah, no, it, it does. I'm, I'm just processing it. Uh, let me, let me ask what one issue is, I mean, I, I can see this in a lot of different scenarios, as you'd mentioned with syndications, most of them require someone to be an accredited investor, meaning they need to have a certain amount of income and or net worth. Um, does that change or how does that affect if you come together with a tribe? Yeah. Great, great question. It, the, it, um, the requirements for the deal, uh, pass through to, through the tribe. So if it is an accredited requirement deal, then it's important. All the members are accredited, but we are seeing a lot more of, you know, the deals out there that you don't need to be accredited, which mm -hmm. is super exciting. And, um, and in that case, of course, you don't need to be accredited to be part of a tribe that's participating in those deals. But it is, it, it does depend on, you know, what the deal is that the, that the tribe's looking to participate in. You know, one advantage I can see is you had mentioned, you know, uh, typically a lot of the syndications require maybe a 50, but like a, a lot of them require a, a minimum of a hundred thousand dollar investment. And what I can see is this is for one, a way for you to pull that together, but also it could be a, a way to diversify. Oof. I mean, if you have a hundred grand, great. You can go into one syndication, but if you were to say group with have a tribe of five people, then you, in theory, you could each put in 500 or a hundred each, and then you can spread your, you could diversify and you can be in five syndications uh, as well. 
Absolutely. Uh, you think about all the yeah. a- applications yeah. and how this helps, right? Like, look, most of us came from that traditional, conventional investing. Mm-hmm. And the, the nice thing about that is it's so easy. Like, it's never been easier, right? You have your mm-hmm. financial advisor. Uh, there's 6,000 of them out there. Um, your 401k automatically takes your money out of your, your W2. Um, you know, the technology, it's a very mature, you can do it for free. It's almost gamified. It's so easy. Right. Um, and then you, you try to get over to private investing and taking real ownership, right. That the advantages that come with true ownership that we know it, it's so important. It, it's so hard. And, and so being able to, you know, lower that barrier of entry is Mm -hmm. super key. And, and look, yeah, it's not just about uh, getting down to say, if it's a hundred thousand dollar minimum, getting down to a $10,000 minimum uh, or down to $10,000 because that's, that's palatable, but you're, you're absolutely right. I can now get into 10 different deals, right? You know, what do you think? You know, three are going to go really good. Three are going to go okay. Two are going to go in, eh, and then you know, one might might not might not go great, right? Mm-hmm. So, um, you know, how do you diversify? And what a great great way to do it. Um, and, you know, and and think about like getting into a new sponsor, getting into a new uh, asset class, all those things. I mean, if you've ever written a big check like that it's really sucks <laughs> and uh, you know it's it's you know and, and what a great way to again invest at the amount that's right for you for all sorts of good reasons Travis, Je- one of the questions that we always get is right is this sounds great right is there something that i'm missing here Right. Are there some downsides that people should watch out for as far as, you know, creating a tribe, something like that, that maybe they may not see a blind spot, something like that? Uh, Good question. Um, You know, I I think what we've done, right, is we've changed the game. So do you guys remember where you were when you first heard about Uber? Like, do you remember what you thought? Like, did you think that was a good idea? I like, did, or I would even say like Airbnb. Uh, yeah. I remember the first time I heard about Airbnb and a client was doing that to her apartment in New York. I'm like, are you crazy? <laughs> like you have strangers living in your apartment. Uh, but now yes. I mean, they have plenty of Airbnbs. And, and so I, th- I think you're right. That first glance is, man, this is insane. Right. So I, I think like that, that we think of like Uber. I remember the first time I heard Uber. I'm like, that is the dumbest idea. That business is going to fail miserably. And of course now, you know, I have Uber on my phone and I summon a strangers to my house <laughs> and jump in the car with them without saying a word. Right. And how did that happen, right? Well, it was technology. It was it was technology that has made it safe and easy to transact with strangers. And 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 we love those companies. We love being their, you know, their their younger brother uh, mm-hmm. because you know they they give people opportunity to create wealth and create new income streams too. And and that's what Tribest has done. Tribest technology the technology makes it safe and easy to do business with partners now and uh and that's i think that's just important to understand so um you know we made we made, we made doing business with partners so efficient so efficient that um you know it it, it it's hard to believe um but anyway that's um i think that's the important thing so to answer your question Cameron, um, look, this is a business partnership and it is a business. And um, so you, you need to know that going in, our whole purpose 
in uh, building our technology and our processes and best practices is to make that safe and easy and make sure you set it up the right way, make sure you have transparency and everything else. So I, I guess the way I'd answer your question is, um, yeah, there are downfalls and pitfalls to business partnerships, Yeah. but if you're going to do it, do it with TribeVest so you're set it up the right way and you have that transparency and you know you 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 put your best foot forward the thought i had was uh, kind of about time right is uh, you think of like the market investing is i mean you can download a, a dozen apps that'll sweep money out of your account and get it invested for you right they're more than happy to do that they've gotten really efficient at it and uh, i kind of see you guys coming in and helping facilitate the ease in which kind of entrepreneurs can enter real estate so uh, I'm excited for this new development. I uh, appreciate it, guys. No, you're, you're you're right on. And and look, you you guys feel there's a movement out there. People know that you know just investing in the stock market doesn't doesn't cut it. <laughs> and, uh, and, and, <laughs> yeah, and yeah, they're and people they're learning that, that now. Right? Yeah. I mean, it's it, yeah, and we're always reminded, you know, during times like these. Um, but, you know, I think what's cool is, you know, the technology is always going to be way behind that mass market uh, that is Wall Street. But companies like TribeVest and others and communities like yours are making it way easier for people to, to make that move, to, to finally start to take ownership in real assets and uh, it's exciting to see. It's it's a movement. It's a movement. It's and it's happening. Absolutely. And per, one thing I like to say, what we've been doing with Infinite Wealth Podcast, when we have a guest like this, we've been streaming it on multiple platforms. So what this does, it allows you to get a sneak peek of the podcast. But more importantly, you have an opportunity to ask questions. Right. So if you're on here and you have some questions for Travis, throw them in the chat. This is a great opportunity to have the founder of the company ask that. And one thing we do a terrible job, but we're not do we're not good at marketing. Like, <laughs> all right. But so we, we, we did, we did a poor job promoting this, but just realize that's a reason why you should follow us on YouTube and Facebook. So you will be notified whenever I forget to promote uh, this, which it, which is, which is quite often. Um, and I tell you, we, we do have a question on here, but it's more related to infinite banking. So I'm going to answer yours offline, but any questions for Travis, we got a few minutes here. Love for you guys to, uh, to, uh, uh to ask. And Travis, where, right. Where can somebody find you? So, uh, try best.com. And if you're, you know, your emerging, um, you know, capital raiser or, you know, looking to, um, you know, kind of take your investing journey to the next level, uh, check out our open tribes. And, and the best place to go there is tribevest.com forward slash open tribes. And then uh, the best place to follow me is LinkedIn. And if you go to LinkedIn, you can put in Travis Smith and try best. You should be able to find me. I would ask that you, you, you let me know you heard me on, uh, this podcast. So I, I, uh, I make sure to, uh, accept you as a, uh, contact and friend. Uh, you yeah. know, if I get a group, a tribe together and I come to you guys, uh, is there, uh, an introduction and education, uh, into investments or is it just like, Hey, we've got this framework set up for you. You're ready to go, right? Is uh, what, what's available, Cameron? That is an awesome question. Um, so we've made it a purpose, made you know, made it a, 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 our purpose to to provide this tool and utility, and we're just focused on helping you run a, a partnership business. Um, and so it's all about that. Perfect. And so, no, we don't offer education. We don't introduce you, uh, to, 
uh, deals or opportunities or anything like that. It's really, you know, we're very focused. We have our role out there in this world. And, uh, and that's why we love working with and partnering with, you know, guys like Anthony and, and Cameron, um, because that's how we count on educating our, our, our community, uh, which, you know, has 10,000 investors uh, on the platform and uh, as users. And, um, but they're, you know, they're in these communities learning and then they're taking those learnings and they're coming and taking action on our platform. So uh, the answer is no, we don't, we don't really offer that. Um, you kind of have to bring, bring your own uh, deal, bring your own, um, you know, understanding of, of investing. And then when you do, we make sure you're setting everything up the right way and, and doing it wisely and safely and uh, transparently. And, and, and what I would add to that is I, I, I didn't expect you guys to, but B is uh, right. From our perspective, the way that we will typically help clients is that the problem that they have is not the investing, right? It's the lack of kind of being efficient with their capital and cash. And so that's the problem that we're solving what you guys are providing is kind of the framework on how to that avenue to get your dollars to work in a group setting. So uh, there's absolutely a need there, and you guys are feeling it. So I'm, I'm glad you guys are there. Uh, so yeah, no sh and no shortage of you know a lot of the access to more deals. I think that's part of the movement. You're more and more private deals and real estate. You know, it's just more accessible. Yeah. And then now it comes down to more of hey, uh, are you leveraging, uh, you know, infinite banking solutions and are you leveraging your tribe to, to consistently have capital uh, going into private, private investments? And, you know, one thing that Nelson Nash said, if you have cash, opportunities are going to find you, right? If you start looking and take those blinders off and be open to those opportunities, they're going to find you if you look. Yeah. Oh my gosh. It, it's really eerie almost. Um, you know, I, I go back to my, my brothers and I tribe, right. And we were, we wanted to be investors. We weren't investors. Mm -hmm. uh, we were saving uh, in our 401k and mutual funds. But um, you know, when we became an investor, the moment was when we formed our LLC and put our first $500 in and that was it. <laughs> mm -hmm. But you know what? Like that was our capital contribution to mm -hmm. that, that partnership business that was, which was created to, to invest in real things. And so when, when we would go out and socialize, uh, you know, I just one mention of, yeah, I'm part of an investor group and we're, you know, we're out there looking for different deals and, mm -hmm. and, you know, we're just keeping our eye open, just putting that out to the universe for the first time in that same party, let's say a cocktail party before we, I was part of that investor group and putting capital ready. Uh, I, I would have never been a part of any conversations of any deals going on or any opportunities, just never mm -hmm. would happen. But the moment I said that, or we said it, all of a sudden we were in every conversation of, you know, this deal is here mm -hmm. and this deal is there. So anyway, when you said that, Anthony, it just really kind of brought me back to like that experience of as soon as we did have an investor group with capital all of a sudden, the question of where do we invest, uh, you know, really started to answer itself as opportunities were finding us. Awesome. Awesome. Travis, one more time, where can, uh, where can they find you? Yeah, come to tribevest.com. And, uh, and if you're an emerging capital raiser and, um, you know, want to want to bring bigger checks to deals, um, check out tribevest.com at uh, Open Tribes. And then, of course, come follow me or uh, ask to connect with me on LinkedIn. 
find me just by putting in Travis Smith and try and try best. Great, Travis. We will make sure that uh, we get those links in the show notes. And uh, once again, man, thanks for coming, coming back. Appreciate having you. Uh, as always, guys, it's a blast. Thanks for having me. Really appreciate it. Our pleasure. Go make it a fantastic day. Take care. Thanks for listening. And be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on the next episode. Also, check out our website, InfiniteWealthConsultants.com, to find our podcast along with other additional resources.